What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So early reviews have started coming out for the upcoming or the soon to be released sequel to uh, Stephen King's novel as well as uh, Kubrick's 1980 classic horror film The Shining. The sequel to that, Doctor Sleep. Early reviews started coming out for Doctor Sleep. Uh, I actually didn't even know Doctor Sleep existed until I saw reports coming out that a sequel to The Shining was being made and I thought initially that it was going to have nothing to do with uh, source material but then I found out that Stephen King did in fact write a sequel to The Shining it released in 2013 now for the sake of just wanting to enjoy the movie first since the novel's been out already I have not read the novel I do plan on reading it at some point because as of now I've only read The Shining and even then I still need to reread that because it's been a while since I read The Shining but getting into the point of this video early reviews started coming out for it and based off of the trailers and everything I was a bit skeptical however I know Mike Flanagan was involved in it. he's involved in it and he's the one that brought this all together and everyone knows that he did an amazing job with the haunting of hill house so despite the trailers not being that impactful to me uh the second trailer was a step way better way better very nostalgic got me excited but it just wasn't that it was missing the oomph but early reviews started coming out and mike flanagan apparently has delivered a worthy sequel to the shiny now I don't know what exactly will be going on in the movie like I said before I just know bits and bits and pieces but some of the early reviews have brought attention to how bold it is how it stays close to what Kub how it pays pays homage to what Kubrick presented in his adaptation of The Shining because uh, it's universally known that Stephen King hates how Kubrick handled The Shining but here he Stephen King has praised Dr. Sleep he's praised how uh mike flanagan has brought it all together now for those of you who aren't familiar with him mike flanagan is the one responsible for uh a few netflix horror films that have been very successful uh gerald's game is one and then another one i believe is a movie with his wife starred in and she was also in the haunting of hill house i'm trying to think of it hush um both of those were very well crafted horror films hush being a horror film that Put you in a different perspective of sorts uh for the audience and the character now to see that he is i i really am not that surprised that early reviews for the film are are very good mike flanagan i have yet to see a project from him that hasn't disappointed uh, in terms of the horror genre now but what what really strikes this what really gets me going about this is they reports are claiming this is the best Stephen King adaptation adaptation since the Shawshank Redemption now that is a bold claim to make but given how again this the haunting of Hill House that was one of the most beautiful haunted house stories that I've ever seen um on the television screen or in a, in a in the form of a series it's very heartfelt it's very touching it's also very terrifying uh mike flanagan just does an amazing job he did an amazing job bring you into the world of those characters making you feel for them uh i just i'm really interested to see what he has done here with dr sleep because i know dr sleep the novel got rave reviews and to see that mike flanagan somehow has managed to make a successful worthy uh predecessor to uh kubrick's the shining as well as the novel of the shining really excited to see it 
uh let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to the post notifications so you never miss a video are you a fan of the shining um 